Hi everybody, how's it going? It's Tyson here with Denez Farms, and uh, this is going to be sort of the first tutorial for Mercer County. Uh, I've gotten so far in my save game that we, I am now actually uh, dealing with calves, and today you guys are going to learn how to deal with them, and how they function in the map and whatnot. So uh, first thing you need, um, when you want to feed them, the most efficient way to feed them is with the milk replacer. And today I'm going to show you how to mix it, how to transfer the calves from the, and whatnot, how I do everything. Uh, I got this thing here. This is from the LS Mod Company. Uh, their little gator pack. I highly recommend getting this. But any tanker that can hold milk will hold uh, will hold milk replacer when it's mixed. The uh, next step, obviously, is you want to go in here to your pallets, and you can buy. If you've got a big operation, you can buy a milk milk replacer, buy the skid, or you can just buy a single bag. You can also buy ground feed, and you can also buy ground feed by the skid as well. Of course, you can also mix your own ground feed. Um, so, uh, I'll show you guys how that do that in a later video, but till then, uh, let's load this up and, uh, head back to the farm. Just kind of just drop that in there. So the benefit of the single bags is obviously that you can just handle them by hand. I believe it is slightly more expensive to buy them by the single bag. I can't remember how I set it up, but they're just calves. We don't need a whole lot of food, I hope. So let's take a trip back to the farm. So the calf functionality is based, requires both seasons and maze plus, which you should be running if you're playing this map. The map basically would throw a lot of errors without maze plus just from the silos. And then there's a lot of seasons functionality built in that uh, relies on seasons to get these features to work. The way calves work is that when you move your uh, newborn cows from the uh, regular pen to the calf pen, they visually become calves, and then you just feed them differently, so that way you're saving money, first of all, by not having to feed them TMR. All right, guys, we're approaching the farm now. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to mix the milk replacer first, and then I will uh, transfer some calves over there, and then we'll feed them. So I believe I put the barrel Oh, I put it over here, actually. So this is the ca this is one of the two calf pens that I've included, and this is the barrel for mixing it. So let's go over the calf pen real quick. So the calf pen is pretty simple. You can place it anywhere, and it will not deform the terrain under it. Which is kind of realistic. In real life, you know, you just slap these cut hutches wherever you really want them. Uh, this is where you fill up the uh, feed right here, and you can give them straw for bedding, and they'll produce a small amount of manure. Uh, you have two options for this thing. You have this one, and you have one that has an open back. And when you have the open back, it allows you to place it up against another building if you have room. This farm doesn't, so I didn't use that one. I used the fully enclosed one. The other thing you need, if you don't want to feed them straight milk, you got to get the milk replacer mixer barrel here, which is under the global company category. And this thing's uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to show you guys is that. In a quick second here, we'll mix some up while it's mixing, then we'll uh, transfer some calves. So uh, the skid side here, this is where you drop your milk replacer. You can either drop a whole skid on there, or like I'm going to do here, just grab, a, just grab a bag and set it on there. Now it will fall through. I have the collision set wrong. I'll fix that. Drop another one on. This is probably more than I'm ever going to need, but... Alright, then we open the global company panel. With control G, you see here we got 200 liters of uh, milk replacement powder. And we just need to fill up the water. I just haven't set you by the water. 2,000 liters for 180 bucks sounds pretty reasonable to me. It's actually kind of expensive, but whatever. And then uh, it's automatic. You just check that it's active. Auto starts on, so it's going to start to work on its own. And it'll make 200 liters of milk replacer. And I forget what the ratio is, but you definitely get a lot for uh, just a ba little bag. When that's done, we'll feed, the, we'll feed that to the calves using this little uh, thing I got on behind here. Alright, now our 
calves are at the top here, so we're just going to grab it. I guess it only holds two. Bring them over. Oh. And then they also need some they also need some hay and some straw, so we're going to toss that down. Or I'll, I guess I'll give them corn stalks. We'll get to that in a second here. So we just drop these guys off. So the calf pen holds 50 calves. There you have it. You got your calves in there. All right. So then the next step you want to do here is just fill it up with milk replacer by pulling up to the uh, opposite side of the barrel of the skid. Although you can get to it from just about any side except for the skid side. And then uh, just uh, fill up your uh, tanker. All right. And then you just drive over here. And you pour it out. So that wasn't nearly enough. In fact, looks like these calves, just two of them, are gonna. Just two. Uh, every calf looks like it's gonna eat about uh, 1,100, a little over 1,100 uh, liters a year. All right, guys. So the way you give them straw is actually you gotta drive it on in here. All right. So the way you gotta give your cows or your calves straw here is you just gotta drop it in the pen here. Ideally, you want to use a small square bale, but uh, right now I got corn stalks, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, do not ever put two types of straw in at once, because that will cause a bug that will uh, not allow you to use any more straw. You'll be permanently stuck using, never using straw. You'll, it'll be a complete waste to make it after that point, and then you have to slightly, you have to make a small edit to the save game to clear out one of the types of straw. All right, guys. So the last thing you gotta feed your calves is hay, and uh, I'm gonna use these small square bales up in the loft here. I'll take about five of them over. Uh, if you if you want to supplement their food, though, if you don't want to spend so much on the uh, milk replacer, uh, one thing you can do is give them uh, ground feed, which you can either buy or uh, produce it with a uh, hammer mill, which I'll show in another video. But uh, I could definitely save you a couple bucks there. Because the milk replacer is kind of expensive, as I found out. And you do need quite a bit of it. The nice thing about these small squares is that you can just move them by hand. Don't need anything else. I mean, obviously the gator helps to move a whole bunch of them at once, but... Wait, can I? No. All right. Oh, I guess they grabbed their hay right out of the gator. All right, that works. So just to recap, calves are a 100% a seasons thing. They don't really do much without seasons. Otherwise, you're just feeding regular cows milk. Uh, you need to make milk replacer. Which, uh, you put either the skid or the single bag on here, you buy the water, and then you uh, put it in any container that can hold milk, and then uh, feed it to them right here, just the it with the hay. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'd recommend after about, I'd say two to three seasons, move them out of here into a heifer pen or into your herd, whatever you want to do. And then uh, just expand your herd that way. Remember, it takes two years before they can get pregnant. So I recommend having an actual heifer pen to save yourself some money. You don't have to give them TMR and whatnot. Just kind of keep them alive is what I recommend. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming to the tutorial. Uh, look forward to making a few more here. And hopefully you guys have a better understanding of how this map works. And hopefully you guys have fun playing it. Thanks.